Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Amateur and another episode in the journey of Project 991. In this episode, we're going to be continuing the exhaust modifications by installing the Sports Cat system from Soul Performance Products. Let's go check it out. So we've got two bolts that we need to pop off right here that are currently connected to the stock cats. And then there's these two C clamps that will, that's essentially holding the X pipe on. So that's, you know, four bolts, pull this piece off, and then we start pulling the cats off. So you guys, we are about halfway through taking off the exhaust and the cats. And uh, the hardest part of the job so far is taking off uh, the, the nuts, the bolts that keep the, the cats attached to the headers. And two of them are directly underneath. So with the right length wrench, you can get kind of enough leverage to get them out. But the, uh, the top two, which are on the top side of the cats facing uh, the car, there is hardly any room to move. There's hardly any leverage. And Chris and I have just spent probably the best part of half an hour inching, like a quarter of a turn, eking away at these two bolts, swearing our heads off. And finally, they just come off. Now we've got to get the O2 sensors off, and then we can pull uh, the entire exhaust system off the back. So uh, wish us luck. This is the tricky part of the job. So here is the inside of the exhaust. We just took off, this is the uh, the driver's side. The cat just came off here. So there's the factory cat and there's the sole performance cat. Uh, smaller, lighter, higher flow, more powerful. Why on earth do we have these on the car in the first place from the factory? Uh, these are the four bolts that we had to work on. They were 12 millimeter bolts. These two were relatively easy to remove um, with a bit of WD-40, uh, as long as you had a longer wrench for a bit of leverage. These two up here, absolute bastards. We, we had to um, sort of quarter turn them for about 20 minutes to get both of those off. Uh, and then we took off the X pipe. Uh, and then finally, the O2 sensors, which uh, you need a 22 millimeter wrench for. Um, a little stiff uh, to come off, and actually you're twisting against uh, the um, the plastic rubber hose around the sensor, um, so you get a little bit of um, resistance as you're twisting them out, but they weren't too difficult uh, to pull out. But now we've got the cats off, um, the fun and games can continue. There we go. can't see a damn thing. That, I'm telling you, man, that, that shroud is going to be the death of me. Oh, I would agree. This it's so ass, annoying. Stupid ass heat shield for the turbo is like, I have them right on, I have them right, don't I? Um, yeah, because this is the mount on this side. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure not putting the left on the right. Okay, what the heck am I hitting here? Oh, you were almost there. Am I? I'm hitting something here. So, you can kind of see the. Oh, you're so close. Where's the. Okay. 
Yeah. There we go. Now I gotta get this damn shroud in place. Okay, guys, so pro tip. Uh, Chris and I got this one semi-mounted, but we couldn't get the secondary sensor to reach all the way back uh, to this port. You can see on the stock, um, they're much closer together. So the primary sensor, the blue um, O2 sensor, that go in the front. And then the secondary is this gray one, which goes in the back. Now, in order to get some more play, we just reached up at a recommendation from, from Sol. You can actually just reach up and take off the sensor from a zip tie from where it's sort of lodged. You just lift up and then it drops down. So now we should have enough play. Fingers crossed, Fingers crossed uh, to get this in. <laughs> and it's the same on the other side as well. So um, amateur tip, pro amateur tip, <laughs> pro am. Uh, yeah, blue sensor is primary, that goes in the front, and then gray sensor is secondary, goes in the back. Okay. So the primary, get that on first. And here's another tip. If you twist this around first, then as you're putting it into the port, it'll untwist and make it easier to get in. Because that was actually a bit of a struggle, wasn't it, getting it out? Uh... Yeah, it was. Okay. So that's in tight enough for now. Um, can we reach? Yeah. And actually just bring that down a bit, Chris. Just bring it down a bit so I can get it on camera. <laughs> there we go. All right, so I'm going to do the same here. Twist. Let me just move this around. Goddamn shroud. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Way easier. Yeah, see? dude. Take that damn sensor off, and then you don't have that problem. Okay, here's the yeah. next. So that must have taken all of 10 minutes. That is fantastic. There's more space to get your hands down there to get those nuts on. Um, the uh, sensors went in fine once we got that extra release. Um, and look at that beautiful sole. All right, we're gonna get the X-pipe on and then we're gonna get the other cat on. At this point in the job, it was just a question of putting on the second cat and then connecting them both to the X-pipe. What we did was for the first and second cat, we just put them on loosely until we got the X-pipe in position and we were able to maneuver all three pieces together. Once everything was in the right place and the X-cat was perfectly centered, we then tightened up all of the bolts and made sure that all of the sensors were in place. And then it was just a question of putting back the bumper. Stay tuned because coming up, we're gonna do the comparisons of the stock versus the sole performance exhaust setups. Let's go check it out. performance X pipe.
that's it for another Auto Amateur video, guys. What do you think about the Sport Cats? I think they sound tremendous. I, I just, I can't believe a turbocharged engine can sound this good. For the longest time, I've been the biggest fan of naturally aspirated 911s over the turbocharged version. I'm not turning my nose about them because I respect the power, I respect the technology, I respect the driving experience, but there was something about that raspy growl that the naturally aspirated engine gave me in my 997 and my 991. But now I think you've got the best of both worlds. And even without going as far as the Sport Cats, I think the X-Pipe gave us that. Um, so Chris now has this ridiculously fast turbo, which has this amazing growl and crackle to it. And uh, I can't wait to get it back out on the road or see him out on the road when spring arrives. Now, more 991 videos coming up. We've got some additional things we're gonna be doing. As I mentioned earlier, uh, Soul Performers are providing us with the bypass pipes as well. So we're gonna be taking the headers off again, putting the bypass pipes on and seeing what the difference is. Um, I think Chris will ultimately decide to stay with the sports cast, but who knows, he might like the bypass pipes more and then we'll leave them on. So we've got that video coming. Chris has also got some stuff in the works on his interior, which I'm gonna be helping him with deviated seat belts and some other fun stuff. Uh, and then for Project 996, which is just over there right now, I've got a deviated seat belt video in the works. I've got a leather seating uh, restoration video in the works and several others. So stay tuned in the next few days and the next few weeks as more project videos are gonna be coming out. Uh, and that's about it. Drive safe, hope you're staying warm. We are here in Minnesota are trying desperately to do that. And I'll see you in another video soon, bye.